everyone. So it's been a few years since I've made a manual video and I figured this would be a good time to make a new one, especially because I have my brand new 2023 Type R. So this may be a pretty interesting video for you if you're looking to learn how to drive manual. And what better car than to be able to see the interior of a FL5 Type R. So driving a manual is actually pretty easy. And I'm actually gonna start with the car off. So right now the car is completely off. And in order to start it, you have to press the clutch in. I always like to make sure it's in neutral so you can wiggle it back and forth. If it goes left and right, it's in neutral. And then you just press the start button. Now, because it's in neutral, you can let go of the clutch and it's not gonna engage. If this was in gear, and you let go of the clutch, the car is going to try and move. So never release your brake or your clutch unless you're in neutral. Now you'll notice this car is actually pretty quiet, which is nice. Makes it easy to do a video. Have the nice gauge cluster there for when you're on the track. And then have the gauge cluster here. So you just want to familiarize yourself with the pedals. Now keep in mind, there's three pedals. So there's the clutch the brake and then the gas so if you hit the gas it's gonna give it gas brake and clutch now you always want to know that when you hit the brake in a car even if you're in gear the brakes are always going to be stronger than the engine so if you're ever panicking and don't know what to do you're kind of lost just hit the brakes and you'll stop the car will stall if you're in gear but the brakes are your way out. They are a lot stronger than your engine's gonna be. So now we'll get things moving. So in order to move, you hit the clutch in, put your foot on the brake, you release, in this case, it's electronic parking brake. So you'll release the electronic parking brake. That's why my foot is on the brake pedal. Put it into gear. And you'll see here, it's actually pretty easy to get moving. The more power a car has, the easier it is to get moving. It's less likely to stall. So if I take my foot off the brake, slowly release the clutch, you'll notice I didn't even hit the gas and it started to move. So now I can give it a little bit of gas and you're driving in first. It's really that simple. The hardest part is learning the feel of your clutch in your car because it's gonna have different grab points. It's gonna have different pressure that you need in order to get it going. But I'll press the clutch in and then hit the brakes and come to a stop. So in order to get moving again, it's the same thing. I'm on a little bit of an uphill, so it's gonna take a little bit of gas to get moving but you just slowly release the clutch and you're moving. Now to go into second, you hit the clutch in, pull it into second, and then release the clutch. Now in this car, I'm going a little slow to be just putting around in second, but keep in mind, every car is gonna have a different gear ratio. So in one car, you may be able to shift into second at six miles an hour. In other cars, it may not be until 20 miles an hour. I know in my Civic Si, I thought having first gear was a waste because you could literally shift into second at six miles an hour. And so what was the point of first gear? It would drive perfectly fine in second gear at six miles an hour. This car, not so much. It's got slightly longer gear ratios, it's made for a higher top speed. So you really can't shift into second until you're probably over 10 to 15 miles an hour to be comfortable where the RPMs are high enough that it's not gonna be jerking you back and forth because the engine's struggling to even maintain an idle. So we're gonna pull into a spot here, foot on the clutch. put on the brake, put it back into neutral, turn on the parking brake, 
And now because it's in neutral, I can let go of the clutch. We're not gonna move anywhere. And because I have the electronic parking brake on, I can let go of the brake pedal as well. It's really that simple. So now I'm gonna show you how to reverse. And I pulled forward into a spot, so of course you're gonna need to know how to reverse. Now you wanna familiarize yourself with the gear shift because on some cars, reverse could be all the way to the left and back, all the way to the right and forward, all the way to the right and back. So you need to know where it is for your specific car. In my case, it's all the way to the right and back. So if I put my foot on the clutch, put my foot on the brake, release the parking brake, go all the way back, you'll notice in this car it has a backup camera. So at this point, I'm ready to drive. I can release the brake, start slowly releasing the clutch, and I'm in reverse. Didn't even have to hit the gas pedal in this case. Get going, slowly release the clutch, and you're driving. This is really one of those things where practice makes perfect. You can watch it a thousand times, but until you actually do it, you're not going to get the muscle memory of knowing how to drive a manual. Keep in mind, I've been driving a manual for close to five years now, maybe a little longer. And I learned to drive my first manual when I drove it off the lot when I leased the car. So my first manual was a 2018 Civic Si. And I learned to drive a manual when I drove that car off the lot. My dad came with me and I learned on the way home. So it's really not that difficult. At this point, it just becomes second nature. I don't even think about it. So when I'm driving, I just automatically kind of shift into the next gear. I automatically downshift. And that's something cool about this car too. If you watch right now, I'm in second gear. If I speed up a little bit, foot on the clutch and go into first, the RPMs automatically rev match, which is really nice in this car. Now, that's not something you should get accustomed to using. You should know your vehicle and know how to automatically do your own rev matching. But in this sense, it's a really nice feature to have. My other cars didn't have that and this one does. So I take full advantage of it.